Allah Wabarakatuh Hi, uh, we are from SBPI Komasu which is located in Bukit Kaiwitam My name is Redo And I am Shandu And today we are going to present about our project which is named Smart Incubator 4.0 So why we use uh, 4.0? Because it is, uh, it is uh, for the revolution of 4.0 uh, what is the special about our project? We use uh, a microcontroller named Manicot Carrot. So why uh, we use the microcontroller? Because it is the, 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 latest, the latest innovation of microcontroller that use IoT, which is Internet on the Team. So uh, we invent this uh, smart incubator in order to help the farmers in our countryside to increase their production in poor eggs and to decrease their work in order to produce the eggs. Before we start using our smart incubator SIFO, uh, we are now going to turn on the switch and then all the bugs in our smart incubator will be ready to use and hit our incubator. The next step is uh, to check all of our microcontroller manacode carrot. This is the manacode and now in order to switch on all of uh, component in our smart incubator uh, we need uh, to turn on the switch in our magnet code when we turn on the switch uh, the light will be brighten up in order to show that this our magnet code is power up in order to give humidity to all of our eggs we put a water container under our chamber in smart incubator sifo there are also the water level sensor which, we, which will detect the water level in the water container and then all the water will be evaporated and will give the humidity to all the eggs in our eggs holder the eggs holder can hold up to 30 eggs of eggs squares we will arrange it uh, beside side by side and the humidity will be spread to all the eggs so when all the humidity has been spread to all the eggs the egg shell will be easily to be hatched and the crew will be easily to get out of their shells so, that's why we put uh, the water container under this uh, smart incubator to give the humidity to all the eggs in our chamber. So, the next component is the water supply and the water pump. The water pump will be connected to the microcontroller manicode carrot. Uh, you need to install the manicode app in your phone and then all the manicode you need, need to connect it with this manicode. First, you click the, the app and then you will see all the program that have been given to all the consumers this is all the program and all the wire will need to be connected to all the sensors in our smart incubator for example the water pump, the servo and the infrared sensors and the ultrasonic sensors that have been connected to the microcontroller so right now we need to connect to Bluetooth uh, our manicode app and with our manicode carrot uh, co controller you click the one and then uh, say yes and then we will automatically uh, bluetooth to our manicode carrot micro controller which is the code that have given to our in our magnetic controller so they just the click that has same numbers and click ok and you type the password and then and then the app successfully connected to our medical controller. As we know, eggs must be physically turned to prevent the developing chick from sticking to the shell. If the embryo stick to the shell, it will die and the egg must be turned minimum 3 times a day and 5 times is better. So to save time and to prevent it from sticking to the shell, thus we use the servo. As you can see here, this is how the servo works. After that, uh, the next component is box that will give formless in our smart incubator. So right now is the water container and our water level sensor. The water level sensor sends the water in our water container. When all the water has been evaporated, it will send a signal to the microcontroller. The infrared uh, sends the water and then uh, it will send a signal to the water pump and the buzzer will keep with the automatically, automatically buzzing and the water, water pump will pump the water and refill the water container back in order to give humidity in our smart incubator after done refill, the infrared will give a signal 
This component is defend. Defend is used to give air circulation completely to all our eggs in our smart incubator. As we all know, the temperature is so important in order to hatch an egg. If too high or too low, the embryo inside the egg will develop abnormally. So, what we do? We use the thermostat to set the specific temperature for the quail eggs to hatch, which is 39 degrees Celsius. We have programmed the thermostat and the heat sensor to link together, so that when the hatching home reaches the above the actual temperature, so the heat sensor will detect it and send the data to the microcontroller. At the same time, the bulb will automatically turn off to maintain the actual temperature for the quail eggs to hatch. For instance, we separated this project into two parts, which is the main part is the hatching home and the second part is the temporary care home. So when the quail hatch uh, is going on into the uh, other parts, so uh, we use the infrared sensor. An infrared sensor is an electronic device that emits in order to sense some aspects of the surroundings. An IR sensor can measure the heat of an object as well as detect the motion. Thus, we can know how much quills that successfully hatched because it will send signal to the magnet code carrot and automatically the phone will record an, a video and email it to its owner. These types of sensor measure only infrared radiation rather than emitting it that is called a passive IR sensor.